All right, so I forgot to show you. I got another like cleaning. This is from the cleaning company in here, guys. So I still have these ones to do. I got to get the, uh, the collar off this. I got to get this one undone first. And then the rest is just steel. I forgot the wire off it and stuff. And then this one here, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load these in the trailer. I got to show you what's on the trailer, guys. I haven't even done any of this yet, guys. Uh, yeah. So plan right now is I'm going to go around back. I'm going to cut the rads, the ends off those rads that pile behind the back of the shop. But the trailer's full. Well, not quite full. Almost full from a pickup, which I ended up with uh, some more dirty aluminum. Uh, another motor. Electric fan. It's just going to go in the motor pause with the motors there. Some more dirty aluminum. So another motor there. That's off that uh, wash machine I took the other day. Some brass. Uh, that was at that barbecue I cleaned. There's the other chunk of brass. Um, I don't know, guys. Uh, right now, like I said, I got to get that. Oh, yeah, I, forgot. I got some batteries, too. The guy had batteries, so I'm going to leave them on here. I think both yards are paying the same. I'm pretty sure they are. So we're going to get rid of those along with the rads that we're going to cut off. We're not cutting these rads off. We're not cutting those rads off. We're going to cut the big ones off and get them done. They're around back, so we're going to get that done. And hopefully, before the end of the day, I'm going to try and finish the trailer. I'm going to show you what's on the trailer, but not right now. I gotta finish doing this first, okay? So maybe on the way when I go we'll drive out, because right now everything's still in the trailer. I'll show you what I picked up. So I'm gonna work on those rads, and then I'll show you the load, hopefully, if I remember, because there's nothing on the truck other than those batteries. So I did have a load on, but I threw everything off. So we'll see. All right, so I got all of them cut off, guys. I left those two batteries on there, and these were all the ones that were behind the shop that was all big ones. So they piled in there, as you can see, right to the bottom, all flattened out. Uh, I think there's 12 or something like that because some of them were doubles like when you cut them they had a second one attached to it So then I cut the end off it. So that's why there's a couple extra. I think there was only 10 I think there's either two or three extras So there might be 12 or 13 on there and then there was this one here That's a double like that and the other piece that's there see right there those two were attached these two here So like I said, they were doubles. So Not a bad little jay guys. We're gonna take it in. We're gonna see what we get what is the way? What is the pay? Right, guys? And that will be my second load of rads going out this week. I did not get any air conditioners this week. Uh, sometimes it skips a week. That's okay, though. Give me time to get caught up, and I will show you what's on the trailer still. And all this stuff's got to be done yet. And I still got that pile over there to do. My steel bucket's filling up again. And, of course, all the copper ends, because I still got all them there. I'll show you guys what's in there for now. Nuggets or little, those are the noodles, guys. See my noodles? My noodle bucket again. And like I said, it's just endless, guys. It's endless laying around. So, but anyhow, I'm going to take that load in. I'll put my saw back in away because I don't need it. Didn't need the battery. So this one's it's still charged. Never even used it. I'm still using the same one from last time. So it went through all these rads. And how much juice we still got left in it from the last time I was using it. I might have to, it didn't sound like it was dying any. Let me just see if I can see it. It's down to one bar, guys. Down to one bar, and I cut up the last pile with that battery and this pile, so that's not bad, not bad at all. Whoo! But anyhow, I'm gonna go in and get rid of this, and then I'll show you guys the ticket. All right, so I got myself another ride lawnmower, guys. The deck is there. Oh yeah, this is a big chunk of copper. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's right there on that compressor on the tail end of it. There, I gotta take that off. Brass and copper there. And there's a couple odds and ends, small things. I think there's another motor down below underneath. You can see just the top of it right there. So, yeah, I'm going to finish filling that load up. And it's going. I'm going to cut what I can out of the tractor. I ain't keeping it. I just have no interest in any of that. So, it's going. But that's it, guys. That's my trailer load. And uh, I had a freezer on it that I picked up. It's on the other side of the road. So, yeah. All right, so we're heading out with this, tra or this truckload of rads. All right, so there's the aluminum copper rads. There's the batteries. Oh, I had, uh, what I have? I had 254 pounds, and it was 355.60. The two batteries, one was small and one was big. So I got 16 bucks for the two of them. And my grand total, right there, guys, 371.60 for those rads. So, yeah, pretty good. We still got a stack of rads to go yet, guys. So we're getting there. But uh, this new week coming, I guarantee there'll be another load of air conditioners coming in. So i am got to get stuff done probably tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. So, but anyhow, there's the ticket for today. Not bad at all. Not a bad little payout for today. And you saw what I had on. Some rads. 
and a couple of batteries I picked up today. So I'm happy with that. Not bad at all. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.